Hi, I'm Seven Weather Meteorologist Josh Nichols with this week's edition of Josh's Weather Academy, a segment where I take some of your weather questions and take a deeper dive into all the weather wise. We're almost into September now at this point. The leaves will be changing color and the temperatures will be dropping. But one thing is different about September than August, and that's how rapidly we lose daylight. So the question is, why does September have the biggest decline in daylight? That's what we'll attempt to find out. The month of September is right around the corner, and so is the most rapid loss of daylight all year long. On September 1st, Buffalo's sunset takes place at 7.49 p.m. By September the 30th, the sunset takes place before 7 p.m., 6.57 to be precise. That's a loss of a little bit more than two and a half minutes per day. The pace of daylight that we lose is strictly based on latitude. The farther north that you live, the more dramatic daylight gains and losses are. In the far north along the U.S.-Canadian border, some Americans will lose at least 100 minutes. Locations further south will lose less daylight but a solid 40 to 50 minutes over the course of September. So why does the speed change? It all has to do with the tilt of the Earth's axis, which is at about 23 and a half degrees relative to its orbital plane. So the path of the sun through the daytime sky goes from nearly perpendicular and straight overhead near the equinox to far from perpendicular and far from overhead during the solstice as the Earth orbits the sun. This is due to the tilt of the Earth's axis, along with its revolution around the sun. So when we approach both the spring and autumnal equinox, those two periods will feature both the biggest gain and loss in the amount of daily daylight. So now you know why we lose so much daylight in the month of September. Maybe that's why songwriters write so many melancholy songs about the month. Got a weather question that you'd like answered? Email me at weather at wkbw.com and your weather question could be the subject of the next Josh's Weather Academy. I'm 7 Weather Meteorologist Josh Nichols. Stay weather-wise.